two girls tonight with a purpose to be alive pulled from a burning home a week ago today. We are hearing straight from them for the first time in an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with our Jodian Thompson. She joins us now in studio. And Jodian, what an experience for these two girls. Absolutely, Kristen. They actually don't remember a lot about being rescued because they both passed out during the process. And these two little girls will absolutely touch your heart tonight. They both started crying just thinking about what had happened. The bond these two sisters have is one that you can't describe. You just have to see it. <laughs> While telling us their story, the cough <coughs> lingers. Early in the morning, December 27th, home alone, their house in Independence catches fire. Big sis, 15 year old Nakia, calls 911. Well, I didn't know what to say. But I was just coughing. Oh, like, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Help. With no way out, it was just black everywhere. I couldn't see nothing. It was so nasty. And kept swallowing. It kept swallowing the hospital. Then I had to go, go to the hospital. The two make a life saving decision to lay low in a back room. Nakia using her own body as a shield for her little sister. I just told her to just go right there. Just go right there. And I just covered her up. Unconscious, in critical condition from smoke inhalation, the two are rescued by Kansas City firefighters and don't wake up until they are at Children's Mercy Hospital. All I know is that when I woke up, I just asked for my sister. I didn't care for nothing else. The memory still almost too much. I'm blessed. But most of all, they are so thankful to the firefighters. Yeah, I saved my life. And to just be alive. Thank you. Now the girls have been out of the hospital since New Year's Day. Other than a sore throat and a cough, they are going to be just fine. The older sister says she can't wait to get back to playing basketball, her favorite sport, and the younger one is excited to play with her friends in the neighborhood. Live in the studio, Jodion Thompson, 41 Action News.